Welcome to Cast and Cajun. We're your hosts, Tony Fonto and Tony Sasher. We're here in Stevensville, Louisiana, with our good friend Winston Michel, launching out of Dwarron's Landing. He's taking us to some of his hot spots here today. We're fishing in a canal. It's got a lot of duckweed in here. Last weekend, he was real successful on these jerk rats over this duckweed, and uh, we're gonna try to get on these fish. So get ready for an exciting half hour with Cast and Cajun. Cast and Cajun is brought to you by Thibodeau Regional Medical Center for expert, compassionate care. Grafton Dermatology, specializing in diseases of the skin, hair, nails, and cosmetic surgery. Cajun Home Improvements, the last roof you'll ever buy. Don's Wholesale, your truck superstore with the largest selection of pre-owned trucks in Louisiana. Homeatravel.com, experience world-class fishing in the heart of Louisiana. Visit homeatravel.com. Bourgeois Meat Market, miracles in meat since 1891. And by Tony Sacheries, makes everything taste great. Fish on, middle. Tony Sashley, first bass Good in the tea. boat. There he is, black and blue. Look, guy, Tony. Yep. Well, it's a start. It's a start. You want it to warm up. You don't want to like hurt your arm on the first fish. You want to go ahead and uh, get those elbows and shoulders. How long they got to be, uh, Winston? Twelve inches. They changed it. No, so I'm not. <laughs> Too bad we catch and release. We're going to eat some of those bass at that trophy bass haven. I just seen the, the Tonys on him and the seasoned oh, fry all. Oh. And the homemade tartar sauce. Stop, stop. You're making it hard. I bet you, I bet you Winston knows what is a black pot. <laughs> hey, Winston, I really like this fin's uh, braided line you got here. Which one is this? It's the uh, shock absorber in 20 pound line. That's what it's called, shock absorber? Shock absorbing line, it's got about a 10% stretch. And I find it works well on stuff like spinner baits and different things like that, because you still get a little bit of a stretch with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, you know, it really performs well. Finn's braided line, go out and get you some. I've uh, been Finn. using the pink wind table. Oh, Tony Sasher, you had Missed a bite there. It. Sorry about that. No problem, T. That's right. It's definitely a Talking fish. about this awesome fins line, but I don't mind getting interrupted by a fish if you want to stick the next one to you instead of missing him. <laughs> I get him. Fish on, fish on. Nice. Fish on. Humdinger. A little better fish, T. Yes, yeah, right. What you think, Winston? Full of eggs, huh? What do you come off that? that Tupa gun? Yes, sir. Nice, nice. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm you know, using a humdinger with two willow leaf blades. Uh, the larger one is a gold color, smaller one silver. Got a chartreuse head, chartreuse blue, and white skirt. You're looking at this floating barrier here that's used to keep oil out like in the uh, BP spill, but over here we're using it to keep all that duckweed from getting into the main canal. No oil here. Fish on, fish on. Nice. Little bass, a, a little tiny one. Just come to say good morning. Not what we're looking for. 
but hope you enjoyed the ride. Oh, he's got a little score, probably one of those gorefish. Get him. I think the number one spinnerbait here in South Louisiana is the humdinger quarter ounce in the blue chartreuse and white skirt. Works in all colors, water, and uh, seems to work pretty good. Fish on! As I was just saying, <laughs> this is a jumping fish. Come on, jump again, baby. I know you're gonna do it. Jump, jump. God, he's pulling. Is it a bass, though? Yeah. Is it a bass or a gasbagoo? Oh, yeah, it's a bass. I'm joking. Oh, nice. Another nice bass. As I was saying about the humdinger, and they're very inex inexpensive. You can, uh, I usually just pick up the whole cord. If I see one other convenience store, when the cord gets low, grab another cord. Bye. I haven't used this rod in a while. This is a, actually a, a worm rod I had made by Swampland Rods, same guy that makes the casting cage and speckled trout rod. And this rod's about 20 years old. Lance Dupree over in Homer. Love it. Light as a feather. I'm using a Cronarch MG50, which they don't make anymore, I don't think. But the reel's about 15 years old and the rod's about 20 years old. Hey, T, you better get on the stick and catch a few fish. I know Winston's just holding back and trying to let us get ahead a little bit before he turns it on. Actually, Winston asked me this morning to let, let him catch a few fish. He was going to kind of just take it easy on him. So I said, well, I can do that too, Winston. So just want to make him feel good. It's a beautiful day, and we love everybody, and we're proud to be out here fishing. That's it. That's right. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> Humdinger does it again. Man, I'll tell you what. Not big, but pretty. Healthy. Beautiful, healthy bass. Nice color. Little, but thanks for joining us. Good practice for me. There it is. Oh, again, I got him. Fish on. Got Fish him? on. Oh, another little bitty one. That's a brim. Might be a oh, perch. A brim. A brim. Man, look at the size of that brim. Well, if I was brim fishing, I'd take him home for sure. Might have to come back here and do some brim fishing. But today I'm not keeping fish. Well, combination of this hot sun and all these fish I'm catching, I've worked up a sweat. So it reminds me I need to put my sunscreen on, but before I do, I'm gonna have a bourgeois beef jerky break. Oh man, it smells so good. You don't find jerky like that anywhere else in the world except bourgeois and Shreva. Now, if you're getting kind of jealous watching this, you can get some. Just go to bourgeoismeatmarket.com. They'll ship it right to your front door. Mm. Did you see that? Yeah. Look at that. I'll sit down and eat some jerky. And what does he do? Catch a fish. He's reeling it in. I'm down there, too. Call that a churouge. A churouge? <laughs> a lucky, a lucky bon tip. And bon tip. Churouge, you lose. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back. Tony. T. All right. You got that one on, bro. It's uh, the Mr. Twister Cometa. That's right. Kind of like a, just like a stick Cinco type deal, but it's made by Mr. Twister. Probably one of the best ones they make. Nice, nice. Nice little bass. 
He's kind of scunned up too. Yeah, these goldfish are giving Call him hell. Or come, come around or something's. Well, there are a lot of goldfish in here. Yeah, a small weight on these, especially on a windy day. We we have a lot of uh, this giant sylvania, this duckweed, and grass in here, so I have a little weight on here. But you just rig it. I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. It needs to be redone anyway. Just sink your hook down in about a quarter inch. Come out, twist them around. And I just like to barely just skin hook it so it's weedless. And as soon as you get a bite, it'll, it'll pop right out and you get a good hook set. Real easy. As you can see here behind me, the canal's starting to fill up with some duck seed or salvania, whatever you choose to call it. I decided I was gonna let Tony catch a few fish in the clean stuff. Tony and Tony. Yeah, Tony and Tony. Uh, catch a few fish in the clean stuff. Now that we're getting in this heavy, thick stuff, this is where I'm fixing to get active. Oh, oh, T, you hear that? So I switched to a jerk rat. This is a bait that used to be made by Mr. Twister, went out of production, but due to the request of Winston and Cliff, the Cajun baby crochet, we started making it again. So let's find out if it was worth the effort. Get hey, pitch on. Still got Tony. Got that one on, bud. The old. Oh, that same little, uh, what you call that, Winston? Committer. Committer. He committed to the committer. Boy, look how short he is, but he's dark. Well, he ain't darker back here. Yeah, look. So, hold on. Wow. I guess you'd call that a black bear. Man, I'd sure like to fry him. <laughs> but, Put that baby back. But. Oh, nice. Nice fish, Winston. Oh, I thought it was. Noisy, anyway. Well, he just said he was going to start putting it on us. I guess that's the beginning of the end. We're using a Mr. Twister jerk rat. And what I do with uh, when I rig this bait, it's a, it's a fairly a long bait. So what I'll get is I'll get a six art, extra wide gap hook, the heavy wire, the flipping model. And what that does is the hook is a little bit heavier, so it, it sinks the bait a little bit. As you pull it, I'll rig it up Texas style. And when I, when I rig it up, I'll come through the rat all the way. And it has this little convenient uh, hook slot right here. And you kind of back off and just kind of skin, skin the hook back so it stays in there. And I like to rig it on at least, at minimum, 50 pound fins braid. And I like a seven foot or to a seven foot six heavy action rod. Oh, fish on. Fish right, on. Man. See. Winston Michel. Nice call, Winston. He's doing it to us, T. Like he said he would. Hot canals, man. He knows where they at. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, he did on the jerk rat. Okay. Oh, man. He blew my hat off with that one. Or was it the rod? That's a good fish. That's a good one right there. I'm gonna catch your fish. Get him, T. He blew up on my frog twice. Maybe he'll hit Tony's. Uh... He's on. Hey, hey, there you go, T. I found him for you, brother. All right. <laughs> Tony, I was gonna catch your fish, T. I found him for you, but you had to catch him for me. Oh, that's a pretty one. Nice. That's a pretty one. Nice. Oh, yeah. Let me go find you another one to catch. He hit Tony's frog twice. Threw back on him with the committer. Committo, how we call it? Committer. Committer. Yes, indeed. June bug color. Nice. Oh, fish. get him, Winston. Nice. But you got a garfish? Uh uh. Nice bass. <laughs> I know I'm messing with him. <laughs> nice bass. I don't believe you. Oh, no, don't tell me you got a bigger Biggest one. Biggest fish of the day, right there. I think you still got him beat, T. I don't know. Pretty close. Might be a tie. Close. Might be a tie. Nice. 
He's fat and stubby. But I didn't have to find that fish for him, T. He found it on his own. Right in the middle of the drain. When we return, back by popular demand, cooking segment with Trout Therese. This casting Cajun cooking segment is brought to you by Tony Sashries makes everything taste great. Welcome back to Casting Cajun. For today's cooking segment, I'm going to do a recipe that my grandmother taught me. Her name was Therese Fontenot, so we just call this Trout Therese. You can actually use any kind of fish, but I really like to use trout for this particular recipe. Now, what we do for this recipe is we melt some butter. I actually melted three sticks, but you can use less if you want to be more heart healthy. Since I haven't had my first heart attack yet, and I'm 55 years old, that's pretty good for South Louisiana, I still use three sticks of butter. Then I'm going to take some Chardonnay. Now when you cook with wine, the rule I have is I'll never cook with a wine that I wouldn't drink. So I'm using a pretty good Chardonnay here, added to my melted butter some Italian dressing. That's a cup of Chardonnay, cup of Italian dressing, and half a cup of French dressing. Now this is not a salad. It is a fish dish, and it will be delicious. Next, I add a heaping tablespoon of garlic. Now while this is cooking, I'm gonna season my trout. See, we have some beautiful fillets here that my son Lee and I actually caught yesterday. In fact, yesterday afternoon, these fish were still swimming. I take salt. Cajun cooking, you gotta have cayenne pepper. I love that cayenne. And it's really healthy for you, so it kinda counteracts the excess butter. <laughs> At least, that's what I tell myself. Last but not least, I add some black pepper. Now I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to put this fish in the oven for about five minutes. Because when you put your fish in the oven, the water cooks out of the fish. And I don't want to dilute my sauce, so I'll let the water cook out for about five minutes, scoop it out of the pan, and then I'll add my sauce. Now I said you leave the fish in for five minutes. You can actually go anywhere from five to ten. We're actually about eight minutes here. So I'm gonna take this fish out. As you can see, it's released a lot of moisture. Now I'm gonna take our sauce that's been cooking here on the stove. Now you don't wanna cover the fish. You just wanna get sauce all around it, and maybe like halfway up the fillets. And then you take fresh grated Parmesan cheese, and you sprinkle it on every piece. This is one of my favorite dishes, and unless you're lactose intolerant, I suggest you try it. And my fish is pretty much cooked, so I'm gonna put it in for another five minutes, just until the cheese is melted. Then we're gonna take some French bread, for dipping and enjoy this trout therese. Now the cheese is good and melted. Ooh, man, this smells good. My grandmother would be proud. Okay, our fish is done. Got our plate, put a couple of fillets on there, add some more of the sauce, and there you have it. Trout Therese. T, you said we were going to catch him because we were going with Winston, and you never have ever struck out with Winston fishing out here. And we did. We had fun. Mr. Twisted Jerk Rat, I tell you, it's going to be a new bait for me and you to have in the Absolutely. boat. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having us, Mick, for coming and taking us out. We appreciate that, Winston. Anytime I'm here, call when you're ready. As always, I want to give a special thanks to our military, both our active troops and our veterans. So until next time, keep, keep on, on casting. Every year for the local fair, there's a helicopter ride. 
And every year, Boudreau and Marie come over there and they try to ride the helicopter, but it costs $20, and that's way more than they can afford. So they always try to talk the guy down, and he says, look, I'm sorry, $20 is $20. You either have it or you don't. Well, he is fed up with it. This year he said, I know how I'm gonna fix that, Boudreau. He said, I tell you what, Boudreau, you and Marie get in that helicopter, put your seatbelt on. If you can go through the whole ride without making a sound, I mean, don't say one word, not a peep. I won't charge you a penny. But if you make one sound, one word, when we land, I want my $20. Boudreau and Marie look at each other, they said, that sounds fair. Got in the helicopter, they take off. Man, he dives hard to the left, nothing. Dives hard to the right, nothing. He does a complete flip, nothing. Goes back to the playground and lands the helicopter. Says, Boudreau, man, I'm impressed. I thought for sure you would have said something when I did that backflip. Boudreau said, well, I started to say something when Marie fell out the helicopter, but $20 is $20.